Welcome to the TV5 Vault. I'm Chris Eastlick. The ice on the Saginaw Bay can be extremely dangerous in the winter, and the United States Coast Guard does many rescues each year. In today's edition of the TV5 Vault, we go back to January of 2003, where Doug Moyles shows us the special training that the Coast Guard does to prepare for those rescues. Saginaw Bay is one of the three busiest spots in the entire country for ice rescue. That's why the training is so important. It's the annual ice rescue conference hosted by Coast Guard Station Saginaw River. The hats tell part of the story of the draw this three-day class has for rescue personnel. The 9th District is proud that we have a solid program and other districts are looking at it as a model. You're to the ice edge. Go ahead and uh, jam your ice saws in. As you pull yourself out, kick like a flutter kick and then roll. The training won't be wasted. Coast Guard personnel had to have at least two years left on their enlistment to attend. Jason Mathers is a rescue swimmer. His job is to jump from a helicopter into all sorts of sea conditions, even ice cold ones. I came from Georgia up to Traverse City, so this is uh, just letting me know the different aspects of different kind of uh, search and rescue cases that we'll encounter. A whole different world for you? Or is totally it? different, yeah. I'm used to the warm water and no dry suits, so it's nice. The Michigan DNR was represented, as well as the Canadian Coast Guard. I'm really happy that the, uh, the U.S. Coast Guard invited us to uh, participate in it. We uh, can't get enough training, and as of yet, we're trying to formalize uh, a nice training program for ourselves. So this is a great experience to take back. Just practicing the procedures over and over, and bringing a group of dynamic people together like this shares a lot of knowledge. The guard's using brand new suits. These cost about $1,000, but inside it feels like a thermos bottle. In Essexville, Doug Moyles, TV5. That's some amazing work by the Coast Guard on the Saginaw Bay. And uh, Doug Moyles was a valuable member of the TV5 team for many years. He passed away last year, and uh, we miss him greatly. Thanks for joining us for uh, this edition of the TV5 Vault. I'm Chris Eastlick.